First Chronicles 21 says, Then it happened in the spring, and this is when kings go out to battle. Joab went out in the army and ravaged the land of the sons of Ammon and came and besieged Rabbah. But David stayed in Jerusalem, and Joab stuck Rabbah and overthrew it. If you're joining us in reading through this 90 day reading plan, today's reading is 1 Chronicles 19 through 20, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, if we only had 1 Chronicles to tell a story, we wouldn't have a full idea of what really happened. But if we go to 2 Samuel chapter 11, we get a much fuller view of history and a much better understanding of the reason behind Psalm 51. You see, in 2 Samuel chapter 11, David has the affair with Bathsheba and kills Uriah the Hittite. The worst activity of all of David's life occurs in 1 Chronicles 20 and in 2 Samuel 11. Now, there are times when we do fail to do what we were supposed to do and we get in trouble for it. We may be procrastinating on something that is necessary. We may disregard something that has to be done. Or we may just do the job poorly. Whatever reason, it brings us smack dab into the reality of temptation and possibly of falling into that temptation. David was tempted because he was not where he was supposed to be. He was to be at battle. Instead, he was at home. He was not paying attention to where he was at home. He placed himself in a situation where he's able to be tempted. Now, each one of us deals with temptation. Each one of us struggles in particular areas in our lives, and we need to try to minimize places that we go for those things to cause us to fall into that temptation. Uh, if you have a problem eating candy, then you probably don't want to go to a candy store. If you have a problem with buying things on credit, then you might not want to have credit cards. And if you have a problem seeing things that you're not supposed to see, then possibly you need to restrict your viewing to areas and places where you will not be tempted. We all struggle with something, but through repentance, we can overcome and win that battle.